Dr. Vibrugan, talk to us about osteoporosis. What exactly is it? Osteoporosis is actually a disease that uh, arises from extensive bone loss. Mm -hmm. Actually, this more in, in another word for extensive bone loss. And uh, well, this bone loss can obviously result in an increased risk for, for fractures. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's really a, a, a serious disease that you want to, to prevent getting. It's more prevalent among women, yes, correct? Yes, it is. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's because, um, well, during the, the young ages, I mean, during adulthood, mm -hmm. you, you uh, develop your bone. Mm -hmm. And that's until you're about 30 years, 40 years, then you st start declining the bone again. Mm -hmm. Because then the, the resorption of the bone outweighs the buildup of the bone. And in women, particularly after menopause, mm -hmm. this decrease goes much faster than in men. And that's because this, this bone formation uh, is also related to the hormone status, so it's more controlled by the female hormones. And once we get into menopause, these female hormones drop, mm -hmm. so we lose that protection, more or less, by our natural hormones. And that's why, it's why it causes this steeper decrease in bone loss. What about men? They, they also experience osteoporosis, yes, don't they? Yeah, yes, they do. They, they follow the same pattern during the early stages of life, so they build up also until they're about 30 years old, 40 years old, and they start, also start to uh, slowly break down the bone, and that increases slowly, so in the end of their lifespan. Fruterum has a product called Osteolife. Yes. Could yeah. you tell us about that? Uh, Osteolife is a combination, it's actually a formulation product of soy life together with calcium and vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And this uh, product is formulated in a way as it is studied in the OPA study. The OPA study was targeted to look how isoflavins could prevent bone loss in postmenopausal women. And in this study, it was combined with a calcium and a vitamin D treatment mm -hmm. to prevent deficiencies of calcium and vitamin D to be sure that we're not measuring any deficiency problem. This combination has been uh, studied very intensely now and found very beneficial and without any adverse effects. And that's why we introduced this, this combination, this formulation now as a, uh, as a new product we call OsteoLife. So OsteoLife is a combination of vitamin D, calcium and? Soy Life. And Soy, soy life. life Extra, yes. How does it compare to uh, medications for osteoporosis that are on the market? They're rather toxic. Uh, Medication can have adverse effects because they're also more potent, really treatment mm -hmm. directed and, and oriented. Um, the OsteoLife is, is a food supplement, so it helps okay. prevent. It is effective, it is beneficial, that's what we have shown in the study, so it's backed up by, by the science. Mm -hmm. But still, it's a food supplement, and it's not a medication. It's natural. It's natural, yeah. And there are no without side any, effects. Without any shown side effects, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dr. Vebruggen. You're welcome.